If South Korea has its iconic number seven, Son Heung Min, then North Korea appeared to have its own rising football star, Han Kwang Song. Once signed to Italian giant Juventus and still only 24, Han seems to have vanished without a trace. As the recent headline from CNN read, this North Korean player stunned the football world, then disappeared. Han's huge potential was recognized in Europe when he moved to Italy to join the youth scouting center ISM Academy in 2015. Despite reported interest from major Premier League clubs like Manchester City and Liverpool, he signed his first professional deal with Italian club Cagliari in 2017, becoming the first North Korean to score in one of Europe's top five leagues. His debut goal came within weeks of signing his deal with Cagliari at the age of just 18, and he was so quick to settle in that Cagliari posted this video in 2018. Qui la gente ospitale, vivo lontano dalla famiglia, però mi sento come a casa. From Cagliari, he enjoyed successful loan spells in Serie B with Perugia before securing a two-year loan to Juventus's under-23 side in 2019. By October of that year, he was called up to the Juventus first team, the first player from anywhere in Asia to receive that honour. And Juventus reportedly paid three and a half million euros for him in January 2020. But they were apparently planning to cash in straight away, selling Han to Alduhel in Qatar within a week for a fee reportedly worth twice what Juventus had paid. In 2020, Han helped his new team win the Qatar Stars League while also featuring the Asian Champions League in which South Korea's top teams compete, by the way. And he scored his first international goal for North Korea in 2019 in a World Cup qualifier. Also that year, he even came face to face with Son Heung Min and South Korea in a scoreless draw. But the downfall of Han's career was signaled when the United Nations Security Council agreed new sanctions against North Korea over its nuclear test in 2017. Those punitive measures targeted revenues that the North could earn from overseas workers, including any football stars. The deadline for UN member states to ensure that all North Korean workers were repatriated was the end of 2019, but Han still managed to secure that move to Qatar. According to a UNSC report, Han was paid close to $300,000 between February and April of 2020, having signed a contract that was supposed to run for five years. That would have been potentially worth millions of dollars to the North Korean regime, but his last game for Alderhel was in August 2020, and his contract was terminated in 2021 when he was deported from Qatar. Where he went next remains a mystery. Like many other overseas North Korean workers still abroad after COVID-19 struck, Han wasn't able to return to the North. It's been claimed he returned to Italy and may still be there, or he may have been staying at a North Korean embassy somewhere. But sadly for Han and his potential, sanctions mean he can't play football outside North Korea, at least not professionally for now.